Hey, I'm Anna. I'm an artist, a creator, a crafter of things, and I am an aspiring house builder. I want to slowly acquire every skill set required to build a house with my own two hands so that I can become a licensed residential house builder. So this is um, an update on my life over the last week. Um, my life has been excruciatingly difficult. My husband switched jobs um, a month or so ago and there was a big gap in income from him and um, anyway waiting for checks to come in for his new job while he's making money but we're not getting paid because you gotta wait for a paycheck and so I have felt the burden of paying all of our bills and finances with my own income and that's really difficult for me because I do have a two-year-old son and a five-year-old son and they are at home with me all day. I have to work with them. I can't afford childcare, babysitters, uh, Mother's Day out, daycare. I can't afford any of it. And even if I could afford it, my husband would be angry that I used used that kind of childcare. So um, that's a difficult place to be in when I'm responsible for generating a thousand dollars of income every single month uh week while working at home with my two sons underfoot um but i went to see my christian counselor this last week and he basically gave me permission to choose to intentionally rest he said um like you need to have personal boundaries so you don't wear yourself out and um yeah, anyway, because uh, me taking on the responsibility for a whole family and being the, it's basically but like being a single mom if I take care of the whole family and make all the income. Um, and he gave me permission to basically say, okay, every day I'm going to work for this many hours and then I'm going to rest for this many hours. And he said, you know, if a bill can't be paid, that's not your fault because you have to rest and work. You have to have a balance and boundaries. And if a bill doesn't get paid, well, that's your husband's fault. And that really lightened my load a lot. So i um, so thankful for his wise counsel and just, I believe that what he said is supported by the Bible. So um, I'm letting go of two really big um, drainers in my life. The first one is real estate. Working as a realtor is a big drainer in my life. It almost always send, sends me to depression, um, spirals me out of control. Uh, people don't accept the part of me that I'm a mother. They only want the part of me that's a realtor. Um, I can't afford the childcare and they're upset that I have kids. It, it, there are so many, so many emotional triggers to me when I work as a realtor. So I, I have been feeling dread every time I do realtor work since last June. But because I don't have a, I don't have a very strong self-awareness and I don't really understand when it's healthy to stop doing something and I don't have very good boundaries and I am an empath so I literally feel like I am responsible for other people and their success. So I push past normal healthy red flags and keep doing things because I think that I have to to gain a people's approval or because I worked hard to gain some sort of skill set or license or because other people's expectations of me. So I push past the normal healthy boundary and red flag that's saying stop stop this is not healthy and it's making you a worse mother and it's hurting your marriage and i just keep doing those things so i renewed my um license my realtor license this year because all of the people that are important in my life basically told me they were like you're good at it and you should keep doing it but what i realized is i don't like being a realtor the way that realtors must work in my market. Um, you can't have your kids with you. Um, 
there's a lot of emotional uh, stress and issues with contracts and um, getting contracts to close and then clients getting mad at you, house builders getting mad at you. Um, there's just a whole slew of issues that paralyze and um, put me in bed. Like last autumn, I was like in the bed for a whole month depressed watching TV, throwing food at my sons because um, doing real estate work seriously disables me emotionally and physically. I was having bouts of physical pain and disabling. Um, it was very, very intense. Um, but you know, I just pushed through because that's what I do. I mean, I've always been in survival mode. So I think, oh, this is what must be done to survive. So I just keep doing it when I shouldn't. Okay, so sorry, that was a really long, um, <laughs> explanation but that's one major drainer in my life that does not add any positive value to my life so I'm gonna stop doing real estate work um, I'm gonna deactivate my license uh, and then the other big drainer is doing um, sewing custom sewing for a local business this lady does what I used to do when I owned my own child's clothing business Brooks Treehouse she markets her own clothing takes her own photos sells her own dresses and she pays local people to sew the dresses for her so I've been doing that for her off and on for the last year I stopped last fall because I was in bed depressed but I picked it up this winter because my husband did not have income sometimes and sometimes inconsistent income and I needed cash now to pay my bills and stay afloat and um so i took up sewing with her again and started sewing all these orders for her um well now my husband has a career track and has a permanent job and it's a great opportunity and it's actually a miraculous answer to my prayers and i know that god has put this job in his life as a miraculous answer to very specific prayers that i started praying um after my Christian counselor told me what to pray for. Um, so now he's going to have consistent income and over the years it's going to get better and better and eventually maybe I won't even need to make income to pay our bills. But right now um, I do need to make income but I don't need to do the sewing anymore. So I'm going to stop doing the sewing and that is one um, big drainer on me emotionally and physically. So I'm super excited. I just finished up this big 21 dress order. 21 dresses. Now they only take me about 30 minutes to sew each, but still, it's a lot. And I do a lot. I'm a mom. I do all the mom things and then I work all day every day and I do lots of furniture flipping uh, for my booth at Angels Antique and then I do a lot of custom painting and furniture flipping for customers who pay me. They bring me their furniture and I uh, paint it and I give it back and I love doing that. That is like, I love that. That's me. And I'm so excited because I feel like I'm starting to enter the next phase of my life where I feel like life will hopefully get better um, so I, I need to keep having faith and hope and not give up um, but I truly believe that God has continued to bring me more and more and more clients for all of my jobs that support my long-term vision that I believe is from God like I believe God gave me the dream to be a house builder and to be a craftsman because that's how that's who he made me to be and my whole life I have been in self-denial about that but now I'm embracing it and he has been abundantly uh, prospering me in all of the different skill sets that uh, support that long-term vision in the last few months so many people have hired me to do things that support that vision and so I believe it's an act of obedience in me to to agree with him and to keep doing those jobs because they're life-giving to me and they're really supportive of my vision and his vision and they are very supportive of me as a mother all of my clients love that i'm a mom who works with her kids um they love to support me in that so they're not rejecting the part of me that is a mother but they are accepting me wholeheartedly as a woman who is an entrepreneur and a mother and a wife and that is so life-giving to me and it inspires me and gives me energy and gives me passion and excitement and hope for life. 
So I think it's an act of obedience for me to say, yes, Jesus, I will keep doing those jobs and no, Jesus, I will stop doing real estate and I'll stop doing custom sewing for this local business because those are not supportive of my long term vision and they are they will wreck me emotionally and physically if I keep doing them. So um, here you see, I mean, I don't have my hair or makeup done. I look a wreck. Um, it's just been a hard week. And so, hey baby, he wants a new show. I'm gonna have to change the cartoon for him. So it's been a hard week. I've had a lot of times where um, the TV has been the babysitter and I hate that, but that's just real life. And that's what I've had to do to get through this excruciatingly difficult week of my life. I will come. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I got that fixed. I put on a different cartoon and they're happy for the next two minutes, I suppose. But um, I'm so excited because I'm going to go talk to my real estate broker this week and say, hey, I'm done. What do I need to do to in deactivate my license and what, what, do, what fees do I need to pay you and just be done? Um, and I'm about to deliver these 21 dresses to this lady and I've already she and I already know that I'm not sewing anymore So I'm excited about that and um, I'm probably gonna take the rest of this day to rest um, Maybe I'll do my hair. I will do my makeup um, I'll probably take my sons to a playground and just enjoy reading a book outside while they play and um and focus on me, which not in a selfish way, but in a way that is giving me life and uh, making me a better, better human and better mother. Um, so I just ran a mile on the treadmill the last two days in a row at my mother-in-law's home. And I'm so excited about that because I took the time to do something that is good for me and will make me healthy. So today I'm gonna to try to do two miles on her treadmill at her house and I'm so excited that she has afforded me the opportunity to exercise at her home. Um, such a gift to me. So um, I'll update you guys as life goes on and um, I'm looking forward to this week because I think my life is gonna get a lot better um, just with my workload. All right, if you like my content and you really like to see the projects I do and you really like my just, this is real life for me and my authenticity, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on uh, Instagram at Ardent Oasis. And I also have a blog, so um, you can see what I'm doing there too. All right, bye. What do you, what's your favorite part about the turtles in it? Uh, petting. You like to pet them, but we don't actually pet them, do we? I mean, having a pet turtle and petting. You like to come see the turtles? <laughs>